refuse to back down, no matter what insults are hurled my way. Those who oppose me will be cut down where they stand. Fighting.
the Three Kingdoms.
excellent fighting. I honor Sans Claim another victory in the name of my brother. Report from Lord Chun Yu. We request that you return to Xu Chong at once. It seems I have no choice but to retreat. Mark my words, they obey. We will meet again. Somehow managed to keep Shu Province. Oh! Cao Cao's forces are retreating from Shu Province! Master Liu Bei, Master Guan Yu, Master John Fei, words cannot express the extent of my gratitude. We are not safe yet, Master Tao Qian. The enemy was not so much defeated by us as they were forced to retreat by some outside agency. I hope it does not bode ill for our future, but... Who cares why they left? It comes to the same thing in the end. I... Master Liu Bei, would you do this old man the honor of listening to one further request? I would like you to become the Lord of Shu Province and lead us with your benevolent spirit and desire to save the people. Master Tao Chun, I am far too inexperienced. I could not possibly take on such a role. We may have kept Shu Province safe, but far too many people were sacrificed for that cause. If only we had moved more quickly. Master Liu Bei, I am not asking this for myself. I am asking on behalf of the people of Shu Province. There are very few men who have the ability to protect the land from invaders and rule it with the welfare of the people as their primary concern. You can do that, Master Liu Bei. Please, you must accept. Brother, Master Tao Qian is earnest in his desire. Why not accept his offer? But... Master Tao Chen, I am unqualified and unworthy of your praise. But if you so desire, I will accept the post of Governor of Shu Province. Thank you. This will ensure the prosperity of this land long into the future. I feel a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Master Liu Bei, I leave this territory in your capable hands. Master Lu Bu, Master Chen Gong, welcome. I invite you to consider Shu Province as your home, and I myself as your family. You are too kind, Master Li Obey. It would be an honor. Come, Master Lu Bu. Do you not agree? he think he is? They're only here because of their own mistakes. They stole Yan province while it was unmanned, then bore the ire of Cao Cao when he came back and fled here. 
Brother, do you really trust Lu Bu enough to allow him to stay among us? I do not know. But they have no place to stay and are in need of help. It is our duty to extend them a helping hand. That is the dictate of our code of benevolence. I understand. In that case, we will do all we can to support your decision. I don't know if we should just go helping anyone and everyone, though. But if you say so, brother, I won't argue. Master Liu Bei, we have received reports that Yuan Shu is preparing troops for a campaign. I fear that he intends to attack Shu province. Master Yuan Shu does? Recently, Master Yuan Shu seems to have become obsessed with expanding his sphere of influence. I suppose he has decided that it's easier to attack us than Cao Cao in Yan province. Ah, sounds good to me. We'll make sure they pay the price for underestimating us. No, Zhang Fei. I want you and Master Lu Bu to stay here and protect the castle. One, you and myself will face this threat. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute! How can you just leave me behind, brother? I cannot allow all three of us to leave Shu province at once. If an emergency should occur, it would be unfair to our guest, Master Lu Bu. It would be improper to expect too much of those here on our invitation. Therefore, one of us must remain here. The defense of our territory is a crucial task. Cao Cao could invade from Yan province at any moment. But our brother has decided that with you here, Zhang Fei, no enemy will be able to take our home from us. Well, when you put it like that. But still, how come I have to stay here with Lu Bu? Master Liu Bei, you need not worry about us. You can rely on us to keep your home safe. Shu province will be in no danger whatsoever while we are here. I know. Thank you, Master Chen Gong. I am relying on you. Zhang Fei, you are in charge while I'm gone. Try not to let your hair down too much just because Guan Yu and I are away. Hmm? Master Lu Bei, terrible news from Sha Pi Castle. Lu Bu has betrayed us and seized control of the castle. What's more, he has dispatched an army to slay you, my lord. What? Brother! Zhang Fei, what has happened? Just what I feared would happen. That scoundrel Lu Bu attacked when I had my back turned for a split second. He attacked even with Zhang Fei there? I don't know if he's fearless or reckless. Zhang Fei, what is that I smell on your breath? Have you been drinking? Uh, just a little, I swear. Some wine was delivered. They said it was a gift. I'll wager you were drunk and fell asleep. And after our brother reminded you to remain alert. Uh, sorry. That's enough, Guan Yu. There's no sense in lamenting that which has already happened. There isn't a moment to lose, brother. We must return to the castle at once. Yes, yes, you're right. Shu province was entrusted to us by Master Tao Chiang. We cannot allow it to fall into the hands of one such as Lu Bu. Reclaim Shapi Castle from Lubu. Everyone, lend me your strength. So good for battle! <laughs> 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 
first, let us begin by infiltrating Shah P. Castle. We must take out the officers holed up inside. What's going on here? We're surrounded by Lubu's forces. Too many of them. There is no way two of us can keep this place safe. If only we had some reinforcements. Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me! Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. South. Therefore, I thought the enemy might look to take this route. We must not let the enemy near Shabu Castle. If need be, I will stop them myself.
There was nothing we could do before the onslaught of Lu Bu's forces. I am too ashamed to even look you all in the eye. I am simply pleased to see that you are safe, Master Mizu. Our only concern now must be to escape from this crisis. Yes! Hey! Get on in here! Come again! Welcome! Welcome! Do please come again! Way here. Take defensive positions. Trouble before me. We cannot afford to lose this position! I shall personally see to its defense! Trouble before me! Through our lines, I never expected to lose a test of might. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. I will always follow the path of honor. I knew you could do it. Right on, brother. I see Leo Bay's forces have made it this far. They're quicker than I thought. But they're not quick enough. Shafi belongs to my father. It's time for everyone else to get out. Fight me? Don't make me laugh! Get ready to be humble! I've been defeated? The men will lose their heads without me. I will always follow the path of honor! I won't have any enemies left to defeat. You now face 
the daughter of Lubu. Prepare to die! Tremble before me! Such great strength! I'm pulling back for now. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. I knew you could do it! Fight on, brother! to defend this area. Infiltrate the castle. Father, forgive me. That just leaves Lu Bu himself. Where did that scoundrel get to? It's too late for you to come back, Liu Bei. This castle and all of Shu Province belongs to me now. Lu Bu, curse you! Our brother treated you with kindness, and you repay that kindness with betrayal! Hmm. If you want to blame anyone, blame yourselves. It's because your leaders are so weak that your land ends up being invaded by people like you and Shu. A leader needs to be strong. That's why I'm the only one worthy of ruling this territory. And in time, I will slay you and Shu, and Cao Cao and claim dominion over the entire land. You would trample our brother's dreams and spirit of benevolence all to show the world how strong you are? That is unforgivable! Well, if you're so tough, then you won't mind me breaking that smug nose of yours! Please! You must both restrain yourselves! The entire castle and its surrounds are already under the control of Lubu's forces. It would be the height of foolishness to engage him in battle here. Master Lubu, we will lower our weapons. Please accept this as an indication of our intent to surrender. Brother! Zhang Fei, I understand how you feel, but I cannot allow the chaos of war to affect the people of Shu Province any longer. The longer the conflict continues, the more the people will suffer. I made Master Tao Chan a promise. In order to keep it, I must avoid unnecessary bloodshed. We understand. Don't we, Zhong Fei? Yes. Now we're back with no home of our own. And what's worse, we have to serve that animal, Lu Bu. We're supposed to be fighting for the people, but somehow we find ourselves fighting for Lu Bu. Brother, this isn't what you wanted to do either, right? That's enough, Zhang Fei. You bear some of the responsibility for this yourself, remember? It's all right, Guan Yu. Zhang Fei speaks the truth. I just wanted to help those who needed help. That's why I took Lubu in. But I have ended up bringing war to Shu Province as a result. <sighs> Where did I go wrong? Master Liu Bei, our scouts report that Lubu is leading forces here from Sha Pi. They are headed straight for us. They are almost certainly after your head, my lord. He's shown his true colors now. And this time, I'll crush him for good. Wait. When we moved from Xiaopi to Xiaopei, we had most of our troops taken from us. 
If we try and face Lu Bu's forces with such a small number, there will be no chance of victory. Then what are we supposed to do? You want us to just sit here and wait to die? <sighs> Lord Liu Bei, I bring an urgent message from Xu Cheng. Xu Cheng? From Cao Cao? What is the message? If you move from Xiao Pei to Xu Cheng, my lord, you will be protected. <laughs> who's gonna believe that? We're talking about a man who's already attacked Xu province once, remember? It's a trap. Ignore it, brother. Hurry and send a message at once. Tell him we will head for Xu Cheng. My lord. Hey! Are you mad, brother? It is as Guan Yu says. We have no chance of victory in our current state. The only way to survive this crisis is to have faith in Cao Cao's word. Understood. Then, I will cut open a path to survival for you with my blade. If you say you trust him, then I'll follow your lead. Let's fly to Shu Chung. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei. It is due to my own failings that we are forced to spend our lives wandering the land. Forgive me. But... I cannot just give up now. There's still so much I wish to achieve. In our State, we're no match for the forces of Lupu. On you, Zhang Fei. We must head for Chu Chang and the sanctuary offered by Master Cao Cao. Our allies are engaged in battle with Lu Bu's forces throughout the battlefield. We should do what we can to rescue them as we proceed. If you wish to pass through here, you will need to get through me first. Face me in battle if you dare! Now, take defensive positions!
Welcome to Xu Chang. It appears that you've received my message. You are? Ah, please forgive me. I am Guo Jia. I serve as Master Cao Cao's strategist. Yeah? Why have you called us here? What's your angle? Master Cao Cao is a calculating man. It is difficult to believe that he rescued us out of the goodness of his heart. <laughs> I see you're the suspicious type. You can relax. There's no need to keep your guard up here. You must be tired after such heavy fighting. You should rest. We have prepared a lavish banquet for you this evening. Oh, that reminds me. Master Liu Bei, Master Cao Cao, wishes to see you beforehand. He is quite eager to meet with you. It seems there is something he wishes to talk to you about. Master Cao Cao wishes to speak with me? Master Cao Cao, mm -hmm. why are you being so kind to me now? We once faced each other on the field of battle. The only one I was fighting was Tao Jian. I have nothing against you. If I killed everyone who opposed me, there would be none left in the land. That would be a waste, especially for those with talent. However... If you, like me, have all the makings of a true hero, then perhaps you are one as well. Forgive me. But a hero? As you can see, I'm just a man who's frightened by lightning. <laughs> Liu Bei, I do hope that we can both achieve what we are aiming for. Cao Cao's treating us all so well, it's starting to make me feel sick. Just what's he up to? I do not know. I had thought he wanted our help to defeat Lu Bu, but it seems to be more than that. So what do we do now, brother? If you tell us we need to serve as his retainers, then that's what we'll do. No. For now, I will accept his protection, but I have no intention of staying here for long. Master Cao Cao is wary of me. It will not be long before he labels me his enemy and declares war on us. You mean he may be all kindness right now, but as soon as he realizes he can't control us, he'll move to crush us? So that's what Cao Cao's thinking. In that case, we must think of our next move as soon as we can. Our next move? Yes. But for now... I think I need to observe the state of the land. It is the only way that I will be able to work out what is best to do. After rescuing the Emperor from Shun An, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Xu Cheng. His control of the revered Emperor of the long reigning Han Dynasty gives him a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. 
Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself emperor, basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Zheng. He claims to be the true leader and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, this gives Yuan Shao the perfect excuse against him. Shao proclaims Xu a traitor and begins his own campaign against him. Ever since I have been here, I have observed closely the lay of the land. The continent is divided in two, between the areas ruled by Master Yuan Shao and Master Yuan Shu. But it is also clear that Master Cao Cao has the momentum to one day outstrip them both. For now, he is content to follow Master Yuan Shao, but it is only a matter of time before he strikes out on his own. <sighs> And will you follow him when he does, brother? It is true that Master Cao Cao is thinking of the best way to rule this land. But I have my doubts whether the methods he adopts will bring any real peace. From the way he acted in Shu province, it seems clear that the process, at least, will be far from peaceful. Those who do not share his vision will be declared his enemies, and you cannot share his vision, brother. Then it's settled. We should get out of here at once and go to Yuan Shao's place. That seems a somewhat dishonorable course of action. He extended his hand to us in our time of need. We must express our gratitude in appropriate terms before we leave. Guan Yu is right. We may have had our differences in the past, but we are Master Cao Cao's guests now. We must first repay the debt we owe. Any decisions about whether or not to leave this place will be taken after that. Liu Bei, the time has come for us to slay Lu Bu in Shu province. I want you and your men to come with me. Master Cao Cao, I have always intended to find some way to repay the debt that I owe you for allowing us to stay here. However, Shu province is a territory over which I once ruled. I cannot bear to see it exposed to the ravages of war once again. You are free to be concerned, but know that as long as that beast roams the land, the people will never know peace in their lifetimes. I will slay him and bring an end to the chaos, no matter what those around me may think. And I will use whatever tools I have at my disposal. The best way to bring down Sha Pi Castle is with a flood attack. I am confident that Master Guojia and I will be successful. A flood attack. Guojia and Shun Yo are brilliant indeed. Everyone, this is our chance to rid ourselves of Lu Bu for good. They must be targeting the floodgates to launch a flood attack against us. I cannot allow that to come to pass. I cannot allow them to interfere with our strategy. I must hurry on ahead. It's about time we got 
not moving. I think securing that area will prove beneficial to our cause. Most impressive display of might. I shall do what I can to match it for me. It's time to march. Let's go! Wonderful news. It looks like I accomplished my duty admirably. Everyone follow my lead! Okay, that takes care of things here. Now, to meet up with Master Cao Cao and the others. I will always follow the path of honor! Let me understand. Do you plan on breaking the floodgates and flooding Xiaopi? I will! Never about that! This is our best chance to kill Lu Bu. Therefore, I refuse to let anybody stand in our way. This is nothing! Now, face my full strength! It. I've dropped my guard. I have shamed my father's name. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh no! It's no good! The gate won't hold! Master Shun Yo! We finished destroying this floodgate. Excellent. We have accomplished our duty here. support Lu Bu. Know that to oppose me is to invite death upon yourselves. Do you do anything about this water attack? We should surrender to Cao Cao. Lu Bu is without justice. And Lu Bu's army is without bravery! I wish to join Cao Cao! 